Well, howdy, 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 everybody. This is a special um, video that I'm doing for my friend Angie, uh, Angie Looper's Life, here on YouTube. Um, go check her out. Um, and say hi to Brad. Hi, Brad. Oh, I wasn't supposed to speak. You can speak. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I get rid of these for now. I know. I have one more apple. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing this. Uh, we were talking on the phone just a little bit ago, and I, she said she doesn't like the texture of apples once they turn mushy, and I don't think anybody really does. So what I was talking to her about making your homemade applesauce, and so I thought I would go ahead and just talk to you guys while I do this. She asked me to do a video on it. So it's up to you. You can use any type of apples that you have. These happen to be gala or gala, however you want to pronounce that. Um, how do you pronounce it, hon? Gala. See, and I usually say gala, so, you know, whatever kind of apple, um, that you have, if maybe they're starting to kind of go, maybe they're getting mushy. I like to re rotate my fruit in the fridge, so, you know, this will be the apples that were in the fridge, um, and I put fresh ones in that we had just bought. I usually do either apple crisp, or I'll do an apple sauce or something. I don't like to waste anything if I can help it. And so you can leave the peels on your apples if you like them left on. I just prefer to do our apple uh, sauce without the peel. And I just was peeling it onto a plate. Now if you had chickens or something, you'd want to um, go ahead and, and give them that. Um, you don't. Like if you have a... a compost pile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wouldn't that work in there? Yeah. And, you know, we have an apple core, but I'm going to just, I normally just slice these up. Because um, it's just, I just find it quicker to, you just slice up your apples. So you're going to want to cube them. You know, you're going to want to make these pieces fairly small. You can cook it on the stove. I'm just put, putting it in the microwave. Just because it's easier. And it turns out the same. So, you know, you're just going to cut up your apple like that and then just kind of cube it up. My hands are clean. That's paint on my hands from painting in the art room last night. So, I got to spend some time in there last night, which was very nice. And, so anyway, this is just what you're going to do. And I'll come back when I'm done doing all of those for the next day. Okay, I have all my apples cut up. You'll see Brad coming in and out with dogs. But I, these, this equals six apples. And it's up to you, but I always put some lemon juice. Number one, it helps the apples keep from browning as much. And also, it gives it a little bit of a, a zest. Because uh, gala apples are um, a little uh, honey. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing a video. Wow. But, um, a, a sweeter apple. So, I just put some, I don't do measurements, so, you know, SOL. Now, it's up to you, your choice of sweetener. You can use regular sugar, you can use brown sugar if you want to go that route. Um, you can use any sweetener except for, I would not use, of course, sweet and low because that, uh, is just not good. Now I gotta, let's see, okay, a teaspoon of this equal, um, uh, equal a teaspoon of regular sugar. This is the, uh, equal in a canister. So, let's see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna put probably, mm, like I said, I'm not exactly measuring it out. Actually, I'm just gonna and it'll be plenty. That probably equals about three tablespoons, maybe. Maybe. And then it's up to you again whether or not you want, if you like cinnamon in your applesauce or not. Um, we do, especially Brad. So put some cinnamon and I also put some nutmeg. You could put um, nothing at all. You could put walnuts in if you have some walnuts. You could add walnuts, you could add raisins, you could add, you know, um, cranberries, pears go well with, with it. Um, 
that kind of stuff. I wouldn't put, you know, citrus fruits, of course, or anything. But, and then some nutmeg. Um, then all you're going to do is simply is stir this up. Toss it together, basically. And then you're going to put it in your microwave um, until it's done. You're going to keep checking it. I put this in for four minutes, and then I will check it. I like to use a potato masher in there to get it more. It's up to you how chunky you like your applesauce. Maybe you're not going to, um, you want it really just chunks of apple cooked anyway. Um, so it's up to you, but I'll come back when this is all done. Okay, I'm back. All in total, it took 10 minutes to do this. The apple cooked down to this, as you can see. And you could continue to use um, whatever kind of masher you want. If you wanted it really um, mashed, you could put it in a blender or food processor. Brad happens to like this chunky. Now, the wonderful things you can do with it is you could put it in your oatmeal if you're having plain oatmeal or even if you're having a, a fruit oatmeal. You could put it in, um, I was just thinking of that. You put it in oatmeal, you could um, put it, have it like with um, a scoop of ice cream. Um, what else could we put it in, honey? Pancake. Oh, pancake, yeah. Pancakes, pancakes or, waffles. or waffles. You could put it on top of that, you know, because you're trying to stay away from the sugar and stuff. Um, this is a vegan recipe. So, you know, those of you that are vegan can, can make this and do it. Um, it keeps in the refrigerator wonderfully. Brad will probably have some later on tonight with some ice cream. Um, and uh, I'll put it in a smaller bowl, of course. But, yeah, that's all there is to it. Easy peasy. You know, um, like I said, you don't have a potato masher. You can use a fork. You can use a spoon. You can, you know. You could use um, even, once it's cooked, you could even use a mixer, like I said, but a blender, food processor, something like that would work great. So anyway, that's how I make my homemade applesauce, and that way you don't have to waste any kind of apples. So I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll talk to you in a little bit.